Thank you very much. Hulk out! Today on Film Learning, it's time to bust out the Hulkbuster with this brand new HUD effect. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to lend you some filmmaking and lend you good. And ever since I dropped my new Iron Man HUD effect two weeks ago, I've wanted to follow that up with another HUD effect that I've been aching to do for quite some time. And that one being the Hulkbuster HUD effect from Infinity War. So believe it or not, that's what we're doing today. Shocking, right? Whoa. What? Now guys, in order to complete this effect, you need to shoot yourself or your actor either on a black background or a green screen just doing their thing. Just make sure they don't move their head around too much. You can move your head around a little bit, but don't go overboard. You also need to head to filmlearning.com slash downloads and grab our new Hulkbuster HUD effect template, which has everything you need. Apart from that, all you need is a computer, After Effects, and a little bit of heart. So let's get to work, shall we? Okay guys, here we are, and here is our brand new Hulkbuster HUD template. Now guys, I will just say up front, this thing works exactly the same way as our Iron Man HUD effect that just came out a couple of weeks ago. But I'm still gonna guide you through the process because that way you don't have to keep watching both. All we need to do here to replace this face is just head all the way down, click on face, you'll see an example footage of my face. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna drop my much more handsome son Dexter's footage right in here on top of that footage. There we go and I'll just turn me off. Then we'll just head back to the final comp. You'll see it auto updates, looks great. Now, all we have to do is remove the previous tracking animation by hitting MM to reveal the mask path. There we go. And we're just gonna hit that stopwatch to remove it completely. Done. From there, we need to run the face tracking software. But first, let's just move that mask up so that it encapsulates his face, which is a little bit smaller. And you know what, just to make this go a little bit faster, let's just solo that layer. Done. Then we'll just hit the play button and let it track. Pretty good track, all done. Now from there, we're gonna hit extract and copy face measurements and we'll set the rest pose as well. Done. Let's now unsolo that and bring everything back. And done. And from there, we need to adjust the headspace in this one so that it marries up with Dexter's head. So we'll just head up to this null that's called head. Let's then turn that on. And what we're gonna do is just adjust this down so that everything sort of balances out where Dexter's head is in the frame. And that looks pretty good. Let's check out a preview. As you can see guys, in the space of a couple of minutes, this thing is now fully tracked to our head and it looks awesome. Now gang, at this point, there's only one thing left to do and that's to add the eye reflections. So to do that, what we're gonna do is click on face, make sure it's set to full resolution and then we're going to open up Mocha. Now you can see we've got some previously tracked eyes. We don't want those ones. So what we're gonna do is just head up and delete those both bam bam and then all i'm going to do here is just grab the x circle tool i don't know if that's called that and we're just going to draw one around each eye make sure you set this to 90 percent and turn off shear then we're just going to track boards as you can see that is a pretty damn good track and i'm just going to label that one right then all we're going to do is just rinse and repeat that with the other eye draw out that circle mask Turn off shear, set it to 90%, and just to be fun this time, we're going to track backwards. And that one's all done as well. We can now save this and head on back to After Effects. Okay, now we're back in After Effects, we need to parent that newly tracked footage to our null objects just in here. So what we're gonna do is click Create Track Data, select our right eye track, then we're just gonna make sure we're on the right null. That would be null four. Yep, just hit apply export. It's that easy. Then to put it on the next one, we're just gonna select layer four or left eye if you've labeled it that. And then we're just gonna select null three, hit apply export. 
And now both of our tracking data is applied to those two nulls. Then we're just gonna turn on the two comps leveled right and left, and we'll just adjust those over the eyes. So we'll grab the right one. Uh, that looks pretty good. Might just adjust it up a little bit. Yeah. You can adjust these masks if you want as well, guys. And then I'm just gonna grab this one, the left one, and bring it down. Now you can see I've got a little bit of animation there, just because I had to adjust it on my eyes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit P and remove that animation. And if we check out a preview now, everything's all done. That's crazy. Everything's all done. Look at it. I'm super happy with this one, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I really, really like the effect. But guys, that's it. That is the new Hulkbuster HUD effect. Done. I really hope you enjoy it. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. Today on Film Learning, it's time to bust out the Hulkbuster with this brand new HUD effect. So guys, that is my brand new Hulkbuster HUD effect template. As you can see, in just a few short minutes, you have a full Hulkbuster HUD completely tracked to your face, including eye reflections. How cool is that? The answer is very cool. But for now guys, that's all I got for you. If you did enjoy the video, please smash that like button. I really do appreciate it and it does help out. And also, why not leave a comment or request below? I read them all. And hey, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button below and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a single film in an episode. I've got two other episodes right over here with one being that I made heart effect from two weeks ago. All my social media crap is here along with our Patreon or if you want to support us directly on YouTube, you can click that join button below. But until I see you again guys, Keep learning.